funny. They are also very devoted and bring to you today this parade. This year, the committee raised $90,000 to produce the parade. We rely on committed and generous sponsors, as well as all of you, our local donors and sponsors. Thank you. Our sponsors are mentioned on signs around the review stand and on the golf carts, in the book, and on our website. We would like to say thank you to them. Please reward them by frequenting their businesses. They are Lake Forest Northwest Hospital, although we hope you don't frequent them. Griffith Grant and Lackey, Croya, Heinen's Grocery Store, Jay McLaughlin, Advantage Home Health Care Plus, Lake Bluff, Lake Forest Rotary, Lesser Lutry, McGlynn and Howe, Berkshire Hathaway Home Services, Kennig Realty, Ru Kennig Rubloff Realty Group, the Arbor Group, Susie Swirl, Lake Bluff Brewery, and Ireland Heating and Plumbing. Cooling, sorry. Thank you to our donors and sponsors. We very much appreciate the time and energy also of the village staff, including the police department, the adjunct sheriffs that help us out today from Lake County, our volunteer fire department, and our very devoted and professional guides from Public Works. They make this village better every single day. When it's 4 a.m., 10 degrees out, and eight inches of snow, it is these people that have to be out with no sleep, making sure we safely travel to where we need to get the next day. They don't get to hit their snooze alarm. So as we continue to become an event-driven small place, our ever-excellent village staff has adjusted and made things happen. This is a high quality of life that we enjoy in a very connected place. The 4th of July committee greatly appreciates our excellent and calm village staff. So today, we are here to celebrate our nation's struggle to become and remain independent. Think about those words, if you would. That makes our country very teenager-like, doesn't it? Fighting to be free and independent. Perhaps that was in our minds as the 4th of July committee chose the theme this year, Independence Rocks. I think we actually stumbled on it, but of course our purpose was to pay respect to those that have sacrificed, served, and made a difference. We are grateful and we gather today to celebrate and say thank you. We live in this cozy, comfy place, but we do love a challenging discussion with a friend, a partner, or a local power holder. So let's celebrate that concept today. Because we are free to discuss, let's remember today that independence rocks. I'd like to introduce to you Tom Dickelman, pastor of the Community Church of Lake Forest and Lake Bluff with the invocation. He'll be followed by a Marie Attendido to sing the national anthem. <laughs> we are also honored with the presence of our re review officer this year, Lake Bluff's own commander, Kurt Jacobs. And here's Tom Dickelman. Tommy! Friends, could we please pause for a moment of prayer? Let us pray. Gracious God and giver of life, we gather this day with grateful hearts for your glorious creation, for the awesome spirit present in Lake Bluff, for this country is a land of freedom and opportunity, and for the parade committee and all those who make these streets come to life every 4th of July. Most of all, Lord, we thank you for the women and men who serve this country with courage and devotion. We humbly seek your blessing that this might be a day of peace in our hearts and throughout this land and the world. Amen.
looking straight up Scranton Avenue in both directions, actually, and up center this way towards public safety in a teeming sea of red, white, and blue. Give yourselves a big hand, everybody. Now, I wanted to tell all the people up the street, Scranton Avenue, move over. The parade's going to get ready to begin here. Let's move to the side. And I think, are we ready for the Lake Bluff Children's Parade 2015 to begin? This is the perfect day for friends and family to rock their independence and enjoy delicious desserts at the business of our sponsors, Susie's Swirl. Susie says, have a happy and safe fourth and swirl away every day. Here they go. Here goes the parade. These are the lawn mowers in training. They'll be cheerleaders in just a few years. Move out of the way, everybody on Scranton. You're going to get run over by a tricycle. Let's give a cheer for the youngest members of our parade. Lauren's n cell phone number. You don't know? All right, everybody. So let's do a little attendance count while we're waiting for everything to begin. I want to hear from all those within earshot who are visiting from out of state. Let's hear it. Wow, that's actually excellent. All right. How many are visiting from abroad? I hear a few. This is great. All right. How many are here from Lake Forest? 
And now, how many are here from Mike Bluff? Yeah. Oh, come on. <laughs> how many are here from Lake Bluff? Yeah. Woohoo! All right, that's great. Now, I have somebody who's here at the stand. Emily Sharapata is up here with me. Is there a family member nearby? Just in case anyone knows a family member of Emily Sharapata, please mention to them that she is right up here with us. Safe and sound, best seat in the house. Okay, we have somebody who's claimed Emily, so now she'll go out and sit with all of you. All right, what I want to do now is do a shout out to all the wonderful, wonderful people who are involved in this parade. As you very well know, having heard from Deb, we've got a fabulous Citizens Committee. We also need to thank our public safety officials, Dave Belmonte and the police force. Let's hear it for our wonderful police force. And also our fire department that's out there primed and ready to jump in the parade under Chief Dave Graff. We also want to do a major shout out to the partners today. The Lake Bluff Volunteer Fire Department, of course, they hosted the 40th Fireman's Ball last night, and they've also invited quite a few of their comrades with other communities to join in the parade. They will also sponsor the water fights at Artesian Park. So in case you get a little toasty during the parade, Go on over to the water park and you'll, or to the water park, listen to me, <laughs> to Artesian Park where you can play in with the water games. Then we also, of course, want to thank the Kiwanis Club of Lake Bluff and Lake Forest. They served their 44th annual 4th of July pancake breakfast today on the Village Green from 7 to 9.45, and all funds are donated to local charities. How many of you had some pancakes this morning? I love it. I saw a few of you washing them down with beer from the brewery. All right. Then, without any question, we need to thank Boy Scout Troop, well, actually, the Cub Scout Pack 42. The Cub Scout Pack delivered all of those fabulous books to each of your households. If you haven't had a chance as yet, do take a look at the 4th of July ad book. It is just wonderful. Then we need to, of course, thank the Lake Bluff American Legion Post 510. They support many patriotic events and programs and were parade producer for 85 years. The Legion continues to provide essential volunteers. Then also the Park District. Their float features summer campers and staff, and of course, the golf course pool and beach are all fully staffed today. So go and celebrate there as well. And of course, the Village of Lake Bluff headed by Village President Kathy O'Hara and our trustees. They have made the 4th of July a wonderful success by assisting in the planning efforts, ensuring public safety for everything, and providing hands-on operational support. We also want to acknowledge the really generous support of all of you. More than 330 families, individuals, and businesses, and 134 advertisers this is truly a community event. Can you give everyone and yourselves a very big hand? And we need to thank the sponsors who have made this parade possible. There are 110 entries that are gonna go past you today. So we're gonna be here for a while, having a good time and really enjoying ourselves. The title sponsor for today's parade is Northwestern Medicine Lake Forest Hospital. We want to thank them profusely for their support over the years. And also we're looking forward to, I think it's two years from now, the opening of the new hospital uh, will be completed. So we're looking forward to that. Our other sponsors today are Croya, Griffith Grant and Lackey Realtors, Heinen's Grocery Store, Jay McLaughlin in Market Square, Advantage Home Health Plus, Arbor Group, Berkshire Hathaway Home Service, Koenig Rubloff Realty Group, Conlon Christie's International Real Estate, Ireland Heating and Air Conditioning Company, Lake Forest Lake Bluff Rotary Club, Lesser Lutry McGlynn and Howe LLP, Susie's Swirl, 
and the Lake Bluff Brewing Company. Please give everybody a wonderful hand. You're going to hear about some of our advertisers as we go through the parade. They were the generous underwriters of the bands. Uh, and we have, I want to say, I, well, I, I didn't count them up, but I think we might have around 15 bands today. This is unbelievable. So we're really going to have a wonderful, rousing time. But I did want to go ahead and say, first of all, a very big thanks to Northwestern. Um, They have been ranked among Illinois' best hospitals by U.S. News & World Report. The hospital is offering breakthrough care right in the neighborhood here with over 700 physicians board certified in 90 medical specialties. The hospital wishes everybody a very happy and healthy 4th of July. Also not marching today, but we're so grateful for them, is Heinen's Grocery Store on Waukegan Road. How many of you shop at Heinen's? Yep, I'm hearing some applause out there. They are in Carriageway Shopping Center. The, they call it Grocery Shopping Made Easy, the store that offers the freshest selection of produce, source-verified meat and seafood. They have an incredible selection of chef-prepared meals. They offer over a 1,000 different wines and hundreds of craft beers, and they're open daily from 8 to 8.30. Also not marching, and we're very grateful for them, is Advantage Home Health Plus. They're returning as a band sponsor. They are the neighborhood home health care provider, and they say they're taking quality care back home where it belongs. The Arbor Group is returning as a sponsor, and they are assuring global regulatory compliance for life science companies worldwide for over 20 years. And our friends at Ireland Heating and Air Conditioning. So what they say is, is leaky duct work compromising your home comfort and raising your energy bills? Ask Ireland Heating and Air Conditioning how their system can come to your rescue. They are comfort247.com provider. Now let me tell you about our parade marshals today. How many of you have been touched by Croya over the years? How many of you? How many of you were Croya kids when you were growing up? Yeah? And how many of you are parents of Croya kids? Croya has been around unbelievably for 35 years. What they have been doing is providing thousands of 7th through 12th grade students an incredible variety of programs. At their new student union over by the Lake Forest Rec Department, which was built in 2007, there is a three-story addition that includes side door studios, state-of-the-art recording studio for bands to record and rehearse. There are music lessons. They have multi-purpose space with games, music, and a stage for performance, a wellness dance studio, and offices where social workers provide counseling for youth and families. 35 years young. Let's give a big round of applause for Croya. And they will be coming. They will be our Grand Marshals. All right, everybody. Our siren, our siren, our siren. We're beginning quick. Don't forget that you can find this on the internet. If you go to lb4july.org, you can find the lineup and follow along with us. Let friends know that we're streaming live. We're streaming live. And I've been told, too, that we're also on Instagram. If what you do is hashtag, let me see if I can find it, hashtag LB4July. So Instagram and Facebook. So look for not only what's going on right now as people are enjoying themselves, but also a recap later. Be sure to take a look. Also, as we wait for everybody to march their way forward here, I wanted to tell you a couple of interesting facts. Last year, this town swelled to 25,000 for this parade. And we fully expect to meet that, at least meet that this year. A few other fun stats. The hottest parade, and I remember it well, was 2012. 
It was 102 degrees at this time in 2012. <laughs> and one poor gentleman passed out right in front of the stand here so that he had to be taken off in an ambulance. So we waited a little while. And the coolest parade apparently was in 1972, 50 degrees. I was told also that the Kiwanis has served as many as 2,700 pancakes and 1,200 sausages. So get your brain around that one, too. <laughs> so as we get ready to begin here, I wanted to also say, for those who've been following Lake Bluff's national recognition, added to the fact that we have been named by Coastal Living Magazine the fourth happiest seaside town in America, and this last year we were included on the list of Chicago Magazine's top 12 best suburbs. This year, Chicago Magazine listed seven favorite farmers markets, one for each day of the week, and Lake Bluffs was their favorite Friday. <coughs> All right, everybody. So let's hear, let's hear a big cheer as we begin this year's parade at the happiest seaside town in America. Let's hear it. All right, now, as the flag goes by, we ask you to please stand, stand tall, remove your hat, remain silent, please. Stand, remove your hat, remain silent, right hand over heart. And we can reflect a moment on how very, very lucky we are. We thank our guests from Training Center Great Lakes Honor Guard and also American Legion Post 264 Color Guard that includes Alan Champ, Tom LeClaire, Chris Miller, Tom Marks, Ed Garrity, Dave Nash, Tom Glover, Gary Simmons, Bud Turner, and Commander Patricia Simmons. Thank you all, gentlemen. And here we go. Roya, our 2015 Parade Marshals, the committee representing our young adults, the youth organization for Lake Bluff, Lake Forest, and Newwood. Swarth out. Hey, Sally. Lake Forest Rec. Five years young, and the band on the float 
is Mirror Images. They began playing in 1985 and won the Troya Battle of the Bands in 1987. That was a good year. The band members include lead singer Michelle Biner Muldry, guitar Scott Ruswick, bass Michael Goldsberry, keyboard Steve Moorhead, and drums Michael Thomas. I love it. One more hand for Troya. And now here are our buddies from Cutscout Pack 42. They have been on site here in Lake Bluff since 1937. They learned practical life and outdoor skills taught outside of school. They are led by Cub Scout Cub Master Pete Cronin, Assistant Cub Master Clint Hansen, they are led by Scoutmaster Artie Hoffman. They're active members of the community assisting with food drives, flag ceremonies, and various Eagle Scout projects. Troop 42 supports our 4th of July parade, and they assisted in this morning's children parade. And again, they also delivered all of the 4th of July books directly to every home in Lake Bluff. Let's hear it for Pack 42. And here comes the Mariani truck pulling American Legion Lake Bluff Post 510 members. For 90 years, Post 510 has supported a vision of a strong national security, taking care of veterans, mentoring youth, and promoting patriotism and honor. On today's float are Post 510 representatives, along with outstanding young Lake Bluff women and young men who attended the American Legion state programs, Boys State and Girls State. The Girl State delegates are Emily Cho, Jenny McHenry, Lindsay Fristu, Catherine Shank, Annie Simpson, Alex Walinskas. The 2015 Boy State delegates are Adam Acker, Carson Cook, Barum Rao, and Alan Wan. Post 510's motto is survive, service, and community. Thank you to Post 510 and congrats to all the Boys and Girls State's winners. as a positive intervention prevention method. The participating in Elks Drillorama Nationals Drill Team Competition in Las Vegas. Good luck to you. Friends from Groot 
recycling services. Rune Industries is the largest independent solid waste management services provider in the state of Illinois. They've been in business since 1914, last year celebrating 100 years of service. Groot's compressed natural gas, natural gas truck is over 80% less polluting than previous diesel trucks. They continue their green fleet capabilities and is a proud partner with the village of Lake Bluff as our village curbside recycling provider. They make it easy for everybody in Lake Bluff to go green. Let's hear it for Groot. Oh yeah, here's one of my faves. Yuppie Puppy. Yuppie Puppy is where all of the fun dogs play and stay. Lake Bluff's only doggy daycare, boarding and grooming business. They want your dog to be a yuppie puppy. Look at these guys. I love the one that looks like he's in a bun, the very first one, a hot dog bun. And here come our pals from the Lake Bluff Garden Club, established in 1917. So they're getting close to their centennial, two more years. The club has been beautifying the community for 98 years. The members design, dig, and plant 43 planters in our village four times a year, spring, summer, fall, and winter. They also dig, plant, and maintain seven gardens in the village. In the spring, they sponsor the garden market, which involves several weeks of digging, 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 digging plants donated by local residents. The club members then pot and sell them. The Lake Bluff Garden Club truly digs Lake Bluff. I get it. Thank you for your service to our community, Garden Club. Let's please give them a big hand. And our pals at Jay McLaughlin, downtown Lake Forest. The retail store are the proud sponsors of the band coming up now, which is the Pipes and Drums of Chicago Highlanders. Jay McLaughlin started 37 years ago in Manhattan's Upper East Side, and they are in Market Square now, giving back to the community by sponsoring shopping events and giving donations back to charity. The Pipes and Drums of Chicago Highlanders. Pipes and Drums have a long and distinguished history, one of the first pipe bands formed in this nation. The band first played in the 1980s and began again in 1921. They are now the oldest continuous band pipe and drum corps in the U.S. They're led by pipe major Mary Thrasher, who proudly wears the Royal Stuart Tartan. Let's hear it again for the Pipe and Drums. I see the Lubies. <laughs> The 1929 Model A Town Sedan. This is North Shore Model A cars. It's Model A's and antique cars. They were built between 1928 and 1931. The Model A's have a 40 horsepower engine and it was the most modern car of its day, complete with electric start and parking lights. This doesn't look like it was built then, but it's a good one. What year? 57. A 1957. I love it. All right. Uh, so there were about 8 million of the Model A's built at the time, and it was the most common car on the road. Hey, Don Fiore. Love it. This group also includes other show-winning and rare antique classic cars. The enthusiastic group of car owners has been driving in Lake Bluff Parade since 1988, and they look forward to it every year. Let's hear it for these wonderful vehicles. Coming up now, 
the 46th Illinois Infantry, an authentically uniformed unit representing Civil War Union Army troops from Illinois. They carry replica flags and arms that were used by Illinois troops in the fight to preserve the Union. I remember in the year we had 102 thinking that they're all wearing wool. Woke you up, didn't it? Let's hear it for the 46th Illinois Infantry. And now we have coming up the League of Women Voters, Lake Forest and Lake Bluff. This league seeks to make government work better. The year this year, they're focusing on ending gerrymandering of state legislative districts. They are nonpartisan, male and female, 94 members strong. They need your help to bring campaign finance reform about and fix the state's financial problems. Let's hear it for our friends at the League of Women Voters. I love the face on the car of, uh, is this Molly Bay? No, this is the lead. And it says, our eyes are on your issues. I love it. Love it. Our eyes are on your issues, League of Women Voters. Now here are our friends from Molly Maid North Shore. They're headquartered here in Lake Bluff, and they've been a benchmark in quality residential cleaning, serving the North Shore for more than 20 years. All Molly Maid service professionals are fully bonded and insured, and trained to give your home their exclusive pink love treatment. A Molly made car in the driveway is a sign of the cleanest house on the block. And they say, give them a buzz. Look at this. Pots and pans, steel band. We welcome a brand new entry to our lineup this year. Pots and Pans Steel Band is a community steel band based in Woodstock, Illinois, that is open to all ages. Want to do something fun and different? Come and join their group. An interesting name, a note, is that their leader's name is Matt Potts. For more information, check it out. Potsandpans.com. That's Potts with two T's and Pans.com. The Lake Bluff Women's Club is coming up now. Representatives President Joan Finch and several of the club's members are joining her. The Women's Club was established in 1904 and remains a vital dramatic part of Lake Bluff community life. The Women's Club underwrites college scholarships, provides aid to veterans, offers entertaining luncheon programs, and sponsors active bridge, golf, and knit stitch activities. The Lake Bluff Women's Club meets at 12 noon, the second Tuesday of the month, October through April, at Grace United Methodist Church here in Lake Bluff. Welcome. Now we have our friends from At Properties. At Properties, look at this. Win this adorable playhouse. You email your name and phone number to win this house at atproperties.com. All right. They're located at 600 Northwestern Avenue and they're proud to be part of the community and remain the largest independent real estate firm in Illinois by market share. They recently added their 18th office in Lake Geneva. At Properties is again raffling off the Children's Playhouse. 
So be sure to take one of the raffle tickets that they're handing out. Grab it. Raise your hand if you don't see it. I see everybody. Here's Cynthia, Andra, hello, Helen. Oh, look at everybody. This is just great. Maria, wonderful. So raise your hands out there. Do you want an entry to win the dollhouse? Look at that fabulous dollhouse. It's, again, winthishouse at atproperties.com. All right. Perfect. Now we have Ace Cheerleading, the winners of the 2015 National and World Cheerleading Championships. Located in Lake Bluff, the program has over 75 athletes from 4 to 18. The guys and girls come from Lake Bluff, Lake Forest, Winnetka, Glencoe, Wilmette, Highland Park, Deerfield, Riverwoods, Bannockburn, Buffalo Grove, Bartlett, Park Ridge, Skokie, Long Grove, and more. Ace Cheerleading. I know you're all saying, I can do that. That's the way to go down the street. Oh, yeah. And here's one of our favorites. Let's show the Colts Drum and Bugle Corps from Dubuque a big round of applause. From Dubuque, Iowa. They were founded in 1963 by the Dubuque American Legion Post to provide a patriotic activity for children. The mission of the Colts is to use music and excellence to teach each other about success. internationally since 1982. The Colts tour all summer spending 70 days on the road. They perform in over 40 competitions, exhibitions, and parades. A warm welcome from the Colts Drum and Bugle Corps. one of our favorites, Steve Tarpey, but listen to this. He has always come, well, he's come for 12 years in the lineup here for the parade. And he's brought his vintage car. He had a 1948 Fleetmaster Chevy two-door coupe all ready to come out today, but it needs a new master cylinder. Is that right, Steve? Yeah, okay. <laughs> so what he's done is he's come out with his 2015 truck, his work truck, which he tools around in. Is that right, Steve? All right. 
tooling around with Steve Tarpey Home Repair. Get that master cylinder done, Steve. All right, we'll see you the next year. How we doing out there, Lake Bluff? Bernie's Book Bank, a local nonprofit providing books for a better life. Bernie's Book Bank collects, processes, and distributes quality new and gently used children's books to increase book ownership for at-risk children throughout Chicagoland. Book donations are always needed, so clean off your bookshelves of those outgrown books. Volunteers are also needed at the Processing Center in Lake Forest. They welcome volunteers of all ages and abilities to help sort, sticker, and bag books for distribution. Learn more at www.berniesbookbank.org. Just another one of those wonderful nonprofits that we have that are inspired and inspiring. All right, here come our buddies from CrossFit, Lake Forest, and Life Health Fitness a community of people striving to live healthy lives, committing to health, workout, nutrition, instructors, and each other. They're a fitness community pushing limits. They have fun and strive to make daily lives better. Playing with kids, moving well in day-to-day -day tasks, and looking better motivates them. Their supportive community and expert coaching staff will get you to your fitness goals. Come to Life, Health, and Fitness. They say, find your strong. And are you ready to lift up? Okay, I like that. Got a spare tire? We can fix that. I love this. Let me see the sign. The only good saddlebags are on a Harley. <laughs> Look good in your birthday suit. All right. Love it. Coming up here, we have REMAX Top Performers, the Jane Lee Team, awarded number one agent in Lake County by Chicago Agent Magazine since 2004. Jane Lee is also currently number 11 on the REMAX Top 100 US Leaders. They are number one because they make you number one. Beach balls. Love it. Wanted to remind everybody, Lake Bluff Farmers Market, again, voted one of the seven favorites of Chicago Magazine. Lake Bluff Farmers Market, every Friday morning from 7 a.m. to noon through October 9th. How many of you go to the Farmers Market? Oh yeah. Here we have Aerosport RC Club, Matawa. The Aerosport RC Club is located on Everett Road in Matawa. They've been a proud member of the Academy of Model Aeronautics since 1971. Their goal is to promote the hobby of model airplane aviation. And their motto is, ready? Come fly with us. How fun is that? Now here comes the Barefoot Hawaiian. I love this. The Barefoot Hawaiian is Midwest's largest and longest running Polynesian entertainment company, celebrating 32 years on July 23rd. 
They're proud to announce that they've been accepted, they've accepted an invitation from the Pearl Harbor Memorial Committee in Honolulu to take part in the celebration of the 74th anniversary of the end of World War II and the 74th anniversary of the day that would live in infamy. They are the only hula group invited from the mainland. That is fabulous. Let's give them a round of applause. They're going to travel to Hawaii for the celebration in December of this year to support our military. Beautiful. Lake Forest Taxi. They provide professional transportation services to and from the airports. All of their cars are 2015 models. All of their cars are black, elegant service for affordable prices in a friendly atmosphere. Ride with Lake Forest Taxi and experience a whole new way of driving a taxi cab. Actually, we wouldn't be driving, we would be driven, wouldn't we? Yeah? It's a great service. Pasta! The Performing Arts Summer Theater Academy under Mr. Tom Beck. Hola, Tom Beck. The Performing Arts Summer Theater Academy, or PASTA, agrees that independence rocks. They salute Croya with a rocking musical number from their su summer production of Jungle Book as their young actors and singers dance and sing to bare necessities. Performances of the Jungle Book will be in the newly renovated theater at Gorton Community Center on July 11 and 12, 10 a.m. and 1 p.m. Hey, Susie! I love your pet in the back seat. All right, now coming up, listen to this one, you guys. Listen up, parents. This is Forest Orthodontics and Pediatric Dentistry. They're joining us for another year. The Bach family and their fun-loving team are dedicated to keeping your smiles shining and bright, but they are passing out water bottles that have a coupon in them, and listen, take a look at their coupon because three people along the parade route are going to win free braces. Let's hear it for Forest Orthodontics. Look at all the parents pushing their children forward. Braces for everybody. Conlon Christie's is coming next. They're a proud parade sponsor this year. Conlon Christie's International Real Estate is proud to be a part of the North Shore. They have 225 agents with offices in the city, Hinsdale, and Winnetka. And they are sponsoring the Legends All-Star Band. Let's welcome the Legends. One of four programs supported by the Legends Performing Arts Association. Between four organizations, nearly 200 young people aged 13 to 22 participate. It's, their logo is a compass around a circle. The compass points of legends provides them a reminder of the key facets of their success. The four points are exceptional efforts of the staff, support from the community, continued commitment, commitment from volunteers, and the members that they support. Let's welcome the Legends Drum and Bugle Corps.
Edmonton's All-Star Band. Wonderful job. Look who's coming next. Our friends from Canals Automotive Group. A sample of the very latest models from the Canals Auto Park, including Mercedes-Benz, BMW, Land Rover, Mini Cooper, Hyundai, and Smart Car. Canals hopes you all have a great fourth. Bobby Rolick, do you see that Mini Cooper? <laughs> and here comes William Madden, I think. Is William driving? He is. What are you driving, William? Okay. <laughs> Look at this fabulous car. Canals Auto Group. And I see coming up our friends from center stage too. Center stage is following the yellow brick road this summer, everyone. Dorothy and her friends are searching for a home during the center stage production of the beloved family musical, The Wizard of Oz. Performances will be July 24th through August 1st in the newly renovated theater at Gordon Community Center. Visit centerstagelakeforest.org to purchase your tickets. I even see Toto. Thank you, Director Joanne Avalon and the group from Wizard of Oz. Remember, everyone, July 24th through August 1st at that beautiful new theater at Gordon. More beach balls, everybody. Lindemann Chimney Company. Their service has been cleaning and repairing chimneys with expert care on the North Shore for over 40 years. They're based here in Lake Bluff. Lindemann Chimney Service is proud to be your chimney service provider and proud to participate in Lake Bluff's 4th of July Parade. All right. Wow, that's a lot of Lindemann folks. They're out in the chimneys and in the streets, everyone. That's great. Everyone, I want you to make sure to take a look at all the wonderful activities that are going to be taking place in Lake Bluff over the course of the summer. Go to the Chamber of Commerce website. I, uh, I, I don't even know if I introduced myself at the beginning, but I'm Joanna Rowland, the Executive Director of the Chamber of Commerce, and we've got a website at lflbchamber.com with a community calendar for you. for years and are a favorite. And now comes Circus Steam. Circus Steam is Chicago's premier youth circus with a mission of, of uniting youth from diverse racial, cultural, and economic backgrounds and building self-esteem and mutual respect 
through the practice and performance of the circus arts. Pretty big hockey year, wouldn't everyone else? Pretty big hockey year. So here we've got our buddies coming from Falcons Hockey Association, serving the North Shore's hockey community for close to 50 years. Check them out, falconshockey.org. And talking about hockey, up the street, Peg Ann Company has framed photographs of uh, Blackhawks. And they told us that we should all go over there. They've got um, Monday, of course. They're not open today. But they have Duncan Keefe's winning goal of the game with Bishop on the ice. They have a great shot of Crawford holding the cup and another of Tabs and Kane holding the trophy, along with some other ones. So let's go over there. Monday, Peg Ann Company. Alrighty, here we go. Aquatics, I love it. Scout Aquatics Swim Club, a Lake Forest LFHS community education program that provides instructional and competitive swimming opportunities for Lake Bluff and Lake Forest children between the ages of 6 and 18. The team has over 160 swimmers of all abilities. Their motto is believe, commit, achieve, and the team takes tremendous pride in its team spirit and the accomplishments of its swimmers in and out of the pool. Yay to our swimmers. And here we go with the Lake Forest High School varsity dance team. The North Suburban Conference and Sectional Champions. The team consistently ranks among the top national high school teams in both Jazz and Palms. They finished second in Palms and third in Jazz this year in Nationals. These talented young ladies train year-round for games, performances, and competitions, and they're on their way to UDA Summer Camp where they'll compete for the opportunity to once again return to the National Championship competition in January 2016. Go Scouts! Now, thanks to the Rotary Club of Lake Forest Lake Bluff, who stepped up again to be a band sponsor, the Rotary Club is sponsoring the next band, which is just great. So the Rotary Club is in its 55th year of service above self. Rotary Club funds multiple charitable activities every year, and the club helps locally, nationally, and internationally through volunteerism and charitable works. Club President Bill Summers and past President Brad Anderson invite all in the community to get to know the Rotary better. And they're sponsoring the Sinful Saints, the perennial music favorites of the Lake Love Fourth Parade. Let's hear it for the Sinful Saints. 
and the Rotary Club. They're favorites in over 40 Northern Illinois and Southern Wisconsin communities, and they're also known for their Dixieland Church services. Now we have Sandra Hart. Sandra Hart for County Board, a resident of Lake Bluff for 15 years. She is a rep on the Lake County Forest Preserve Board and the Lake County Board. Committed to economic development, transparency in our government, preserving open spaces, and bringing county government to you. She wishes to thank our veterans and members of the armed services for dedication to our country. All right, here's Ron Salski. It looks like the Park District's coming up. Let's hear it for Lake Bluffs Park District. Our buddies, all right. The Park District float theme this year is Rockin' the Wreck. The Lake Bluff Park District's dance team has been rocking all year by doubling the size of their program. The competition teams have won several awards. The float was designed by the preschool staff and all the camps participated in designing the banners. The Park District would like to thank the residents of Lake Bluff for helping the Wreck Rock in 2015. Let's hear it again for them. All right, this is fun. Stepping Up North Shore Dance Academy. They specialize in regional, national dance competitions around the Chicagoland area. And this upcoming year, the dancers will get the opportunity to perform on stage at Walt Disney World. on cement. <laughs> I love it. Excellent girls. Stepping up North Shore Dance Academy. For North Shore Dance Academy. Stepping up North Shore Dance Academy. Thanks, everybody. Good job. And now we have, coming up, the Friends of Lake Forest Library. And I want to tell you all, this is not your old library anymore. They have been sponsoring the most fabulous events. And if you have not been to their website, you absolutely must. They even sponsored a trivia contest at Lake Bluff Brewery. And they have events for kids for all ages. Lake Bluff Book. And this is Friends of the Lake Forest Library. Um, not Lake Bluff, but this is Friends of Lake Forest Library celebrating independence. Independence Rocks and Don't Miss the 40th Annual Fall Friends Book Sale from September 17th through the 20th at the Lake Forest Rec Center. Thousands of books, DVDs, CDs, books on CDs, and much more. 
We have fantastic libraries, everyone. So this is our Friends of the Library, Lake Forest. River City Rhythm from Anoka, Minnesota. City Rhythm. Let's hear it for them. They finished their sixth season of Winter Drumline competition and looking to branch out by bringing their unique ability to entertain the crowds during the summer. During six seasons, RCR has won numerous awards and championships at the state and national level. Welcome to Lake Bluff! JB's Barber Shop, located on Bank Lane in Lake Forest. Quality hair care for men, women, and children for the past 10 years. He gets the enviable position of driving behind their friends from Minnesota for the whole route. Great beat. The crew at JB's wants to wish everybody a very happy, happy fourth. Oh, our pals from the Fox Nation. Mike, are you there? All right. They feature two flags, listen to this, that were flown at a U.S. base in Afghanistan. Their group adopted a unit out of Fort Sheridan that was deployed to a forward base in Afghanistan this past year, sending them goodie packages. And some of the kids corresponded via email with the commander of the unit. As a sign of support, the kids wrote their good wishes on the Fox Nation flag and sent it over to be flown for a day. As per the commanding officer's comments, that simple gesture meant a lot to the troops, and they relayed that they weren't sure what the bad guys might have thought, but they didn't care, huh? How wonderful. The Fox Nation is a collection of father-child tribes within Lake Bluff and Lake Forest, comprised of boys, the Indian guides, and the girls, the Indian princesses. They meet on a regular basis for crafts and activities in, part in addition to participating in monthly events. They've played an important part of the lives of North Shore families since 1961. What a wonderful thing, Fox Nation. Let's hear it for them. And here we have some friends from Clark and Steiner Limited a law firm with over 45 years of combined experience in matrimonial and family law. They're located in Lake Forest's business district. And for more information, they suggest that you visit their website at clarksteiner.com. Welcome to the parade. Up, oh, I hear them coming. Lisa Trace, Griffith Grand Lackey is sponsoring our Midlothian Pipe Band today. Please give a round of applause for the Midlothian Pipe Band. Last year we missed having them with us. They were competing in Canada. They took second out of seven bands in a pipe band competition. They were formed in 1975 and celebrate their 40th anniversary. And here's one of our newer businesses in town, Lake Forest Juice. 
They serve handcrafted cold pressed juice smoothies and protein shakes, juice cleanses, acai bowls, light food fare, and bubble tea. They're located next to Donati's Pizza in Lake Forest. They say, be the best version of you. Up, oh, and now we have our friends coming up from Woodlands Academy of the Sacred Heart. Woodlands Academy, a Catholic day and boarding college prep high school for young women grades nine through 12. Woodlands Academy is accepting applications now for the school year and they want to congratulate their class of 2015 whose graduates were awarded 87 scholarships that totaled $1,131,387, everyone. Congratulations, Woodlands. I see our friends coming up from the Lions Club. The members of the Lake Forest Lake Club Lions are proud and honored to serve their local community and the larger world community in a multitude of ways. A primary focus is to help the hearing and sight impaired with eyeglasses and medical appointments. They also respond to worldwide crises using their worldwide network of Lions Club International. Locally, they raise funds for deserving Lake Forest High School College scholarships, as well as supporting local charities such as Roya and much more. history and have gone over to the Lake Bluff History Museum. It's going to be open today. I would suggest you drop in because they've got some wonderful exhibits going on. Also tomorrow, the History Museum is going to be doing a docent-led walking tour featuring homes and history from the camp meeting area, era into the 20th century. They're going to start at the museum and those are at 1 p.m. So go get more information about that because that should be terrific. All right. Also, the Lake Lake History Museum has told us that they are sponsoring fundraising efforts for the restoration of the East School Mural. For those of you who have been around a long time or maybe went to school there, there was a beautiful mural up on the wall of East School that was taken down and preserved when the building came down. It is going to be restored and installed on the second floor of Village Hall. September 20th is going to be a celebration. That's going to be the celebration of Lake Bluff's founding. And the museum is doing some fundraising, so look into that, please. All right. Coming here, we have Ferris, a band with two members from the North Shore, one from Flanco and one from Lake Bluff, a former bartender at Lake Bluff Brewing Company.
Bluff History Museum. I love it. Proving once again that history is cool. Is that right, Jim Warfield? All right. It was the Lake Bluff History Museum funded the restoration of the 1931 Lake Bluff ice truck. Meltdown this morning. Oh, sad. But you know what? We'll see it again. We'll see it again. All right. It used to deliver blocks of ice around town, and it was restored by a citizens' group. Many hours of restoration that was uh, that included a lot of local volunteers, including John Tiffany. I know. And here we have our pals, the Michigan City Soul Steppers. This is their fifth visit to Lake Bluff, and they're celebrating their 15th anniversary by performing throughout the country. Now here come our buddies from Certified Auto Body. Jack Lachef, is that you? Oh yeah. Certified Auto Body is a full service collision repair shop located on Highway 41 in Lake Bluff with over 30 years of serving our community. Jack, you've seen me too many times. Certified Auto Body. from kids to adults and fun programs galore. I mentioned before, they've got things for all ages, from that tiniest little tot wearing red, white, and blue there, all the way to the trivia contests at Lake Bluff Brewery. for our bookish friends, the Lake Bluff Library. And now, I'm always a favorite, the Proviso East High School Drill Team. It originated in October 1955 under the guidance of Mr. Rodney Smith. It's an after-school program for children. They have been in many parades, including Rock's Christmas Parade from 1997 to 2005.
love that. Get ready, because here they come. Let's hear it for Proviso East. They have taken 10 first place trophies, seven second place, and three third place trophies, and two trophies for best overall drill team. Proviso East. junk today. There's a theme for you. Love it. Afterwards, if anybody needs a sip behind me at Spice Merchants, they've got a bucket cup iced tea and free popcorn right behind us here. All right. Now we have CrossFit Freedom, located on Route 176 in Libertyville. It's the area's premier CrossFit strength and conditioning facility. Their 13,000 square foot campus offers yoga, kids classes, health coaching, and gourmet healthy meals made daily. something for the whole family. They ask you to stop by for a facility tour to, or visit them on website on their website at CrossFitFreedom.com for more info. Break out of your limits is their motto. Ragsdale Inc. All righty. Who's behind the wheel? Let me see. All right. Since 1977, Ragsdale has been setting the standard for excellence in the areas of fine painting, interior decorating, and painting services all along the North Shore. Check out their new showroom at 709 Sheridan Road. And a happy 38th anniversary today. Must be why he's not in there. I don't see him. Steve Ragsdale and his lovely wife, Sandy. So well known to all of us. And a special congrats to Grace and Rob on their wedding coming up in two weeks. That's Ragsdale. All right. Red Rooster Fire Department. I think this looks like a lot of Hartwell family up there. Oh, yeah. All right. Operated by David Hartwell and Russell Armstrong, proudly salute all first responders. The Red Rooster is a vintage 1985 American LaFrance Century Pumper truck. It is the Red Rooster's fire department symbol. The Red Rooster is a famous New Orleans cocktail. All right, now I ask you. They said that's been a favorite at many past parades. Huh. <laughs> Vintage fire truck and cocktail. Only in Lake Bluff, right? Up and the Lake Bluff Brewing Company is proud to be returning as a proud sponsor again this year. They'll be coming up in just a moment. So right here we have the Dance Force Elite. They're the largest youth dance drill company in Chicago, and they bring pure fun and mind-blowing showcase to our parade. Dance Force Elite. so tiny.
I love the tiniest one. That is just so cute. All right, so Lake Bluff Brewing Company is proud to be a returning great sponsor, and they're a great example of what Village Pride is about. They are sponsoring, oh yeah, the Lake Bluff Lawnmower Precision Drill Team. Are you holding a little product from the brewery? All right, legalize Jackie on horse marriage. Hello, all right, save the children. Oh, so my big bird. Okay. We'll all read their signs. They always make us so proud. They're already scattered down the street. <laughs> Here they go. The lawnmowers. Place your bet. Place your bet. Bet on American freedom. I got the inside. You have big money. Big money. Sure thing. It's a sure thing. I got the inside. Lake Bluffs. Beloved lawnmowers, always totally inappropriate. We love them. As a Greek, that hurts. Lawnmowers. Charge! Bring it up, lawnmowers. Let's go. I love it. of diversity. You do make us so proud every year. Love it.
mowers, everyone. Followed appropriately by American Taxi. servicing the Chicagoland suburbs with low flat rates, they tell us, to and from O'Hare Midway in the Loop areas since 1976. And now in this great vintage fire vehicle, vintage fire department vehicle, how great is that? This is St. James Lutheran Church. St. James Renewal. They say, come renew your faith at St. James. Today, St. James is represented by longtime church member John Webster driving his 1962 Ford Falcon Ranchero Fire Chief car. It's wonderful. And now we have Baird and Warner. We see our buddies there. I see Phil Cashel, Mike Walsh, Prune Hill. This is great. They hit a milestone no other real estate of, uh, company has ever seen. They're celebrating their 160th anniversary. You guys don't look that old. They are a client-focused real estate company that is dedicated to remaining fiercely independent, locally-owned family business. Their local market expertise is backed by 160 years of experience, innovation, and integrity. Is that Mary Jane Stutz? Yeah, it is. More goodies coming from Baird Warner, everybody. Oh, and this is fun. Lawman Racing, Inc. Look at this. They're presenting the number seven Chevy Exchange American Super Cup race car. This half-scale stock car delivers a thrill a minute by obtaining speeds of over 100 miles per hour. The team competes in at many historic racetracks in Illinois, Wisconsin, and Indiana. And you can visit their racetrack at lawmenracing.com. And they would like to thank their sponsors, Chevy Exchange, Lake Forest Car Spa, Swarthouts Auto Body, Lake Forest Sports Cars, Price Insurance, Canals Auto Park, and Axles Automotive. All right, this is fun. Nuclear Reaction Drum Live. Get ready for your pulse to rise. Here comes their explosion of sound, the black and green drumming machine, the nuclear Nuclear reaction drum line. Love it. They say that they've been. They've 
their entertaining musical educational program and performance material draws from hip hop, military, Scottish, and pop influences. I love that. Here we have our buddies from Donati's Pizza Company. Local pies by local guys. Donati's is now open in Lake Bluff, everyone, if you didn't know. Oh, two weeks? All right, two weeks, two weeks. So when you head over there, you're gonna have Target, Sport Clips, Donati's. We've got quite a few businesses that are opening up in just a couple of weeks out west. And then I see coming up the street here, the Lake Forest High School JV Palms dance team. Always a favorite. The 13 members consist of freshmen and sophomore girls. The team is going to go to Universal Dance Association Dance Camp at Illinois State University next week, where they'll be defending their title from last year. They'll be competing for the IHSA State Dance Competition title in January 2016. Let's put it together for the JV Pops. The JV Palms. Let's hear it for them. Good luck, girls. We got it. We're good. Now coming up, we've got North Shore Lawn Sprinkler. I love it. They offer underground sprinkler installations and repairs. I love the little generator. A generator with a smile on its face. Gen X Generators. They install natural gas standby generators. Look at this. It's kind of like Uncle Sam in a box. Love it. Highland Park Electric. And now, here comes Lake Love Youth Baseball Association. As this year is in the past, the Lake Love Baseball Association sent its 12-year travel squad to Cooperstown, New York to compete in a week-long tournament against teams from all over the country. 104 teams compete in the tournament and Lake Bluff face teams from Ohio, Michigan, Florida, Texas, Colorado, and Arizona. Following pool play for seeding, the boys advanced to the second round of the tournament and most importantly, they all had a great time. Thank you to the Lake Bluff Youth Association, Baseball Association for everything they do. Berkshire Hathaway Home Service Koenig Rubloff Realty Group, say that one fast. They are a full service real estate company with over 70 agents at their Lake Forest office and they are proudly, proudly sponsoring the drill team here. This is the band of the Black Watch from Kenosha, Wisconsin. Oh no, it's not, they're telling me. Oh, this is South Shore, isn't it? All right, South Shore has moved up. South Shore, this is the South Shore drill team. They were gonna be down at 101 and they're up here with us now. They're founded in 1980 by Arthur Robertson, a former CPS teacher. It has grown from a handful of neighborhood teams to serving over 300 youth ages eight to 21. 
The team marched in the presidential inaugural parade in D.C. at Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade in New York City. They offer education, support, employment training, and court diversion for at-risk youth. And for the past four years, the team has achieved a 100% high school graduation rate. Fabulous. Shore drill team. South Shore drill team, everybody. Thank you for joining us today. another parade from here. Now here are some speakers for you. Love it. Thank you. South Shore Drill Team. Music reminds me, don't forget Lavinia concerts. <laughs> Lavinia concerts on Sunday afternoons right here on the bluff at the gazebo. A wonderful schedule. Take a look at the um, Park District's website or the Chamber of Commerce website. Thank you to South Shore Drill Team. Also, Voila wanted me to tell you up the street that they have Lake Bluff t-shirts for the 4th. They're supplying, they are supporting the 4th of July committee and the Lake Bluff firemen. And also, they've got a new Lake Bluff souvenir coloring book coming soon, Paint the Town. It's going to be at the farmer's market at Voila, up the street. From the South Shore Drill Team to Mosquitoes. These are our buddies, the Mosquito Hunters. If you're tired of those mosquitoes taking over your summer, no need to look any further. Mosquito Hunters offers treatments every 21 days to keep those mosquitoes away. So if you're tired of scratching, now is the time to take some action. Call Mosquito Hunters today. Love it. Mosquito free summer.
that a frog on the back of the truck? Is that because frogs eat mosquitoes? Is that the way you do it? <laughs> I got it. Frogs in your yard. Love it. Snowflake Club. How fun. From summertime activities to wintertime activities, everything is in the Lake Love Parade. And it's our friends from William Ski and Patio here too. The Snowflake Club will be celebrating its 50th anniversary this season. The club has introduced snow sports to thousands of kids on the North Shore over the past 50 years. The club is run through William Ski and Patio in Highland Park. Participants range in age from 8 to 16 years old. The club prides itself on teaching skiing and snowboarding, but also teaches responsibility and leadership. The staff is comprised of PSIA and AASI certified instructors that will take your kids from beginners to experts. Most of the staff is made up of parents who live in our community and many grew up participating in the Snowflake Club. Please join them for unforgettable experiences. Snowflakes, think snow everybody. Dance Academy. Rockin' the floor. 39 years, the award-winning Lake Forest Dance Academy has been providing the venue for one of everyone's favorite pastime, dancing. Director Sandy Ragsdale and the entire professional staff invite you to join their dance family and live it, dance it, love it. Today, the POM team is under the direction of Christy White, and they invite everybody to have a great 4th of July. Let's hear it for the Lake Forest Dance Academy. Susie Swirl, they're back. Back for a second helping. They sponsored our children's parade a little earlier. And here they are again to remind you that the July 4th is the perfect day for friends and family to rock out and Enjoy frozen dessert, our buddies from Susie Swirl. Lake Forest High School drum line. The ensemble is comprised of students of all ages, ranging from freshmen to seniors. The drum line performs at all home football games as well as the fall band concert, and it's thrilled to be performing in their fifth consecutive Fourth of July parade. Now we have the Learning League GC. This is an after-school community education program for Lake Forest.
Forest and Lake Club elementary and middle school students. The students receive affordable one-on-one -on -one coaching in reading and math by their local high school students. What a great way to collaborate, isn't it? The Learning League. Lo Mastro Performing Arts Academy. I love all this performing arts in town, huh? Since opening their doors in 2007, Lo Mastro has become the North Shore's premier performing arts academy. Classes are offered in dance, voice, acting, music, and designed to train well-rounded performing artists. They also have tumbling. Parent-child classes are offered for babies and toddlers and they're taught by distinguished faculty, all of whom are working professionals in their fields. is going to be holding auditions on August 30th for their upcoming Nutcracker performances. And here are our friends from Lake Forest Academy. Welcome! Founded in 1857, Lake Forest Academy, an independent boarding day high school, strives to embody its practices and to cultivate in its students excellence of character, scholarship, citizenship, and responsibility. Lake Forest Academy. Berkshire Hathaway Home Service Koenig Rubloff Realty Group coming up. And as I say, try saying that fast. Oh yeah. A full service real estate company with over 70 agents in their Lake Forest office. They proudly serve Lake Forest, Lake Bluff, and the surrounding communities. They're ranked as the number one real estate office in Lake County in 2014 by Chicago Agent Magazine. The kindness and generosity of Berkshire Hathaway agents is reflected in their charitable initiatives within the communities, including Sunshine Kids, Habitat for Humanity, Bernie's Book Bank, Berkshire Hathaway, Home Services, Koenig, Group Bluffs, local expertise is a global brand. Welcome, everyone. Now we have the Band of the Black Watch from Kenosha, Wisconsin. Entering their 36th season of competition, the Band of the Black Watch continues to provide a unique blend of musical precision and excitement for audiences throughout the country. The Band of the Black Watch is made up of 134 members representing all of the high schools in Kenosha, Wisconsin. This year's repertoire includes, well, quite a few things listed here. The Color Guard is under the direction of Madeline Price, and the band is under the direction of Kathy and Jim Ripley. Let's listen.
from Kenosha, Wisconsin. Thank you for joining us. something else fun for you. Lake Forest Bank and Trust, they say who doesn't love a good rivalry? Here in Chicago, they've got, we've got one of the best, the North Side versus the South Side, the Blue versus the Black, the Cup versus the Sox. So all you fans, Wintrust says, get in the game while giving back. Show your North Side or South Side pride by tweeting or Instagramming with hashtag DecideCubs or hashtag decide socks. And each time you do through August 31st, Wintrust will donate some money to the Cubs or White Sox charities, up to $10,000. So check out the Wintrust website, wintrust.com. All right. Jolly Goodfellows? All right, excellent. This is Jolly Goodfellows Sweet Boutique, your neighborhood sweet destination with frozen yogurt, a fabulous full service bakery, retro candy, and unique retail. Jolly's is in Market Square and has something to make everyone smile. They open early and stay open late till 10 p.m. every night. They'll be open extra late tonight after the fireworks, everybody. So they'll be open after the fireworks in Lake Forest. So they say to come on back. So that was Jolly Goodfellows. And here is Dragon K Martial Arts. All right, this is always good. They say welcome to a school of mental and physical fitness. Their school specializes in the beautiful art of Taekwondo. provide the students, family, and friends a place to learn the virtues of the martial arts. And they say here that use Taekwondo emphasizes self-discipline, respect, concentration, and healthy competition. Their goal is to attain inner peace and tranquility within yourself and to spread peace and harmony throughout the community.
do not cross them. <laughs> Let's hear it for Dragon K Martial Arts. Thank you for your service. Look at these little ones. I see Judy Maloney there. Oh, I see my pals from the Lake Forest Bank and Trust. The Community Bank. They enjoy serving Lake Bluff and the surrounding communities, and they're currently offering both the Cubs and White Sox checking accounts. And we already talked about their content. Um, they want you to decide who you support, so stop by their locations and ask how you can get a debit card for your favorite team. That's interesting. Be sure to talk with them about it. And now the Red Time Ramblers. The Ragtime Ramblers. I love the fact as they drive off, it says, Rent This Truck, 1995. Love that Dixieland jazz. Okay. This jolly man coming on the top of that vehicle. Sport Clips. All right, this is Sport Clips Haircuts. Everybody, they're, I, I don't think you're open yet, are you? Are you opening in the next couple of weeks? Yep, next couple of weeks. So they're gonna be located right near the new target on 176. And now we have our friends from the Women's Republican Club of Lake Forest, Lake Bluff. They have been rocking since 1941. Their membership is open to men and women of all locales. And what they tell us is that they, re they promote Republican values reaffirmed at our state and national conventions of individual liberty, limited government, low taxes, strong national defense, and traditional family members. Of values. They animate their members to become involved in various campaigns on the local and national levels. They also have informational meetings and luncheons on timely political topics to ensure that members and their friends are informed on crucial issues. They welcome all to their events and more can be found on womensrepublicanclub.com. And then here we have Congressman Bob Dole. Congressman, he's honored to represent Lake Bluff in Washington, D.C. I see Rick Lesser. Just once, Rick, once. Look at that one. So Bob Dole's coming down the street. He looks forward to continuing to bring independent leadership and common sense solutions to the district.
All right, now this is fun. G.H. Creeders Popcorn. Look at that popcorn truck. It's a 1920s original Creeders Popcorn Wagon. It all became in, it all began in 1885 when great grand, whoa, I just got, oh, it's okay. <laughs> I just got popcorn in the face. Okay, <laughs> woke me up. Uh, it started when great grandpa Creeders invented the popcorn machine. The Creeders family began perfecting the art of popping corn. His modern machine appeared at the Chicago Columbian Exposition in 1893, and for five generations they've been following in great grandpa's corn popping footsteps. Love it. Oh, I love this. The Wienermobile, everybody. Who doesn't love the Wienermobile? Welcome back to the Lake Bluff Fourth of July Parade. It's the second time. Since 1936, the Oscar Mayer Wienermobile has been spreading miles and miles across America. The vehicle is piloted by two hot doggers, and there are a total of six Wienermobiles that travel coast to coast every year. I love that. Mr. Lucas Dickinson, and the group is composed of approximately 60 students. Listen to this. They have just completed eighth grade. So listen to these musicians. They're from the Kenosha Area Schools, and they meet three days a week throughout the summer and attend a three-day band camp in June. They've participated in our grade for many, many years and always enjoy marching. Eighth graders, everyone. Graduated eighth graders. and Collision Repair, Collision Solution has been on the North Shore for 15 years. I have never seen anything like that. As the commander said next to me, there's nothing to break on that. And you bounce off of anybody you collide with. That's wonderful stuff. They said that they're a short drive up Sheridan Road and you can't miss them. You'll see a car sticking out of the building. That's Collision Solution. All right, so here we've got the LFHS JV and Varsity cheerleaders. Am I correct? All right. So we're going to put our hands together for them.
Jess, JV Varsity Cheerleaders. Nicely done. These talented young athletes are recognized for their unsurpassed commitment to the promotion of school spirit, unyielding discipline, optimism, leadership, and camaraderie. They've dedicated countless hours to that. Nice work. I love the way they pack up and move on. Go Scouts! Let's hear it once more for the cheerleaders. And this entry, number 106, out and proud individuals, families, and friends of Lake Bluff and Lake Forest representing gay and lesbian individuals and families with their friends in Lake Bluff and Lake Forest, whether two moms or two dads or gay sons or lesbian daughters, plus the friends that care for them, we are open and proud to live in this community and living proof that it gets better and better and that love always wins. Let's hear it for our friends. A rainbow walking down the street. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, hard as it is to believe, we're nearing the end. Now we have number 107 in our parade today, the Lone Tree Fire Department. Captain Bill Hart. Hey, Bill. This is the 27th year that the fire truck has been part of the parade, and he's joined by his children and grandchildren. And let's give a big cheer for Lake Bluffs Fire Department, everybody. A big round. Come on. Lake Bluff Fire Department. They thank everybody for their support and sponsorship of that wonderful event last night. Love it. And I know that our friends from the Lake Bluff Fire Department have also invited friends from neighboring communities who will be coming up. Do I see Chief Kraft in there? I do. Here come our friends from Knollwood. Let's hear it for the Knollwood Fire Department. No wood. And now we have our friends from North Chicago. Let's hear it from North Chicago Fire Department. Welcome. And here comes the Lake Forest Fire Department. Let's hear for our friends. And the truck says a de bull on it. Love it. Mm -hmm. 
Ladies and gentlemen, as we close with this wonderful vintage truck from Libertyville and our neighbors up to the west, we thank everyone again for coming. Let's hear it for this parade. How about it? How about it? Thank you again to all our sponsors, advertisers, and donors. They make the parade happen every year, and you make it happen, too. Thank you for coming. And a special thanks to LFTV for live streaming and for the recording of this. We can watch it again and again. See you back here next year, right? Everybody going to be back? The best anywhere. Happy 4th, everyone.